This video is brought to you by Ultium 365. In today's episode, I'm going to use R557 3.3 volt capacity of fingerprint module with Arduino to control an electronic door lock. So for this project, you will need an Arduino Uno or Arduino Nano, the R557 capacity of fingerprint module, a 12 volt electronic door lock and a relay module. Since this is a getting started tutorial, so I'm going to cover number one, the R557 fingerprint module technical specifications. Number two, its wiring details. Number three, its circuit diagram. Number four, how to enroll and manage new fingerprints. Number five, Arduino programming. And number six, practical testing. So without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The R557 fingerprint sensor module is a compact and reliable biometric sensor that can be used to secure doors or other access points. It can also be used in students and implies attendance system. It's a low cost and low power fingerprint sensor. It operates on a low voltage of 3.3 volt making it ideal for battery powered systems. It can be used with 5 volt and 3.3 volt compatible controller boards like Arduino, ESP32, STM32, ESP8266, Raspberry Pi Pico and so on. With this capacity of fingerprint sensor you can easily integrate biometric authentication into your projects. Supply voltage is 3.3 volt, working current is 30 milliamps, Peak current is 40 milliamps. Fingerprint image entry time is less than 0.3 seconds. Collection window area is 12.8 millimeter in diameter. Security level is the highest. Image resolution is 508 dpi. Working environment temperature is from minus 20 to plus 60 degrees Celsius. There is an RGB LED inside this module so when the fingerprint sensor is on it shows blue light. When the fingerprint scanning operation is successful it shows green light and when the operation is failed it shows red light. It includes a storage capacity of up to 120 fingerprints, a fast recognition speed of under one second and a high resolution image sensor that captures clear and accurate fingerprints. For more technical specifications, read my article available on electronicclinic.com. First wire is the VD. This is the finger detection power and this wire is connected with a 3.3 volt. Second wire is the IRQ. This is the finger detection signal wire. When there is finger, it outputs a high signal. Third wire is the VCC and it should be connected with 3.3 volt. Fourth and fifth wires are TXT and RXT, both are 3.3 volt TTL logic level. And sixth wire is the ground and it should be connected with the ground. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the circuit diagram. The VT and VCC wires of the R557 capacity of fingerprint sensor are connected with the Arduino 3.3 volt. The IRQ wire is left unconnected. The TXT and RX wires are connected with the Arduino pins D2 and D3 and the ground wire is connected with the Arduino ground. The one channel relay module is connected with the Arduino pin 13 and on the left side is the 5 volt regulate power supply based on the linear voltage regulator 7805. I have connected everything as per the circuit diagram and now the next step is to install the Arduino library for the R557 capacity of fingerprint sensor. For this, open the Arduino IDE, click on the sketch menu, go to include library and then click on manage libraries. Search for the Adafruit fingerprint. Click on the install button. You can see my Adafruit fingerprint sensor library is now installed. Next for the fingerprint enrollment, connect your Arduino board with a laptop or PC and upload the sketch. You can download this code from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description.
you can see the code has been uploaded. Get your Ultium 365 workspace activated because Ultium 365 provides a useful solution in cases when you are facing difficulties with your PCB design and unsure of your next step. You can share your project in Ultium Designer or on the web with any user in just a few clicks. You will have full control over who you want to give read-only access for let's say comments and design inspections and who you want to give read-write access to allow full global collaboration by a geographically dispersed team with editing performed through Ultium Designer. Let me show you how to share your project. Simply right-click on the project name and select Share. Write the user's email. Select Read or Write Permissions from the drop-down menu on the right. and click on the share button. It's just that simple. I've added links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopod, the world's fastest component search engine. Now let's get back to our project. Next open the serial monitor and follow the instructions. Right now it's saying please type in the ID number from 1 to 127 you want to save this finger is so I'm going to type 3. Now I can place my finger. I'm going to place the same finger again. Now my finger is enrolled and its ID is 3. Now I'm going to repeat the same steps for another finger and this time I'm going to use 4 as the ID number. You can see I have successfully enrolled two fingers. So I'm going to use one finger to open the lock and another finger I will use to close the lock. This is the final code that I used to lock and unlock the electronic door lock. Let me show you how I use the IDs. If finger dot finger ID equals equals 3 then open the lock. And if you remember 3 is the ID of my forefinger. And similarly if finger dot finger ID equals equals 4 then close the electronic lock and you know 4 is the ID of my middle finger. You can download this code from our website electronicclinic.com. I will add a link in the description. I have already uploaded this program and now let's watch this capacity of fingerprint sensor and electronic lock in action. With its low power consumption, fast recognition speed and easy to use software, it is a great choice for both hobbyists and professionals. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.